Okay guys, I'm going to show you about uh, Google Analytics today. Google Analytics is a very powerful tool and it's free. Uh, it's a very, uh, very useful tracking software that you can add to your website and do a lot of really cool things. So you're going to go to google.com slash analytics. Okay, and when you do that, you're going to take, come to this page. It's going to give you some basic information about the site. If you haven't signed up, you can sign up now. Um, basically, all you need is your own Google account, uh, your own Gmail address, etc. So I already have an account, so I'm going to click on Access Analytics. Okay, and then this is this is kind of my main page. Now I have 20 websites right now um, that are in various degrees of development and uh, drastically different levels of success. So uh, I'm going to click on my best performing website right now. It's austinrentalhomes.org. It's a very, very simple site that has a search engine on it so that people can search um, available rental homes here in Austin, Texas. So in the past 30 days, this is my dashboard, it tells me in the past 30 days I've had 1,121 visits. Pretty good. Okay, and then 746 of those were unique visitors. Okay, and then you can watch the timeline here when you go to a specific day, like uh, January 8th. That's that was my best day ever. Um, it's a combination of the beginning of the year and also I I put out two really really powerful ads that day, uh, or these two days, and I got a lot of visits. So. I actually don't advertise this site very much anymore because I made enough money in the beginning of the month to where I could kind of relax. Um, so what's going on there? Okay, uh, but it's it's still a, it's still a pretty cool uh, tool. And uh, you know, if I throw out another ad, I'm going to see another spike in the sales here or in the visits. Okay, now there are a couple other tools. Visitors overview doesn't do much, but there there are two things here that are really great about this site. Traffic sources. So when I click on view report, got this little pie here. It tells me uh, had 753 visits from referring sites. That means that somebody's clicked on my link from another website. 100 visits this month from search engines like Google and Yahoo, and then 268 from direct traffic. That means that somebody's actually typed in my uh, address austinrentalhomes.org so uh, <clears throat> okay now you'll see here top, top traffic sources 663 visits from Craigslist uh, I actually advertise primary on, primarily on Craigslist because it's free and it works um, and this is just from this month I had that many visits direct traffic obviously and then the Google organic search which means somebody has typed something in like a keyword and got into my site and here are the keywords that people have typed in and clicked on my site from this is very useful keyword research if you're trying to figure out you know what what people are searching for that are looking for you know what you have to offer okay you see Austin rental homes obviously is the best keyword uh, some people type in my address uh, rental properties rent homes I mean the list goes on you can kinda see how people search and that's pretty cool okay and let's get back out of that and the next coolest thing about it is this map overlay now this is probably one of the coolest features of the whole system um, this tells you what countries and states and cities people uh, are visiting your site from so this month alone I've had uh, 1117 visits from the United States I had two from Germany one from Canada and one that's undefined so that's pretty cool. I've got people from halfway across the world checking out my little rinky-dink rental home site. Pretty awesome. Okay, now when I click on the United States, it tells me that I've had visits from 35 regions. A region is basically a state. So I've had people from 35 different states visit my Austin rental home site this month. So that tells me a lot of things. It tells me that there actually are quite a few people from out of state that are trying to find rental property here in Austin. So, you know, can I use that to my advantage? Absolutely. Um, I could uh, change the, uh, the copy on the page to um, kind of appeal to out-of-state people a little bit more. You know, that's, that's just some more real basic traffic and keyword research that's, that's going to help me 
grow this business, uh, you know, to its best potential. This size actually, when you type in Austin rental homes, it actually shows up number two <clears throat> on Google right now, which is is, is pretty good. So uh, that's that's why I'm getting quite a bit of traffic. Okay, um, 958 visits from Texas. Now, if I click on Texas, it'll tell me, you know, who this is a kind of this is called a heat map. So these dots get bigger as more people visit. Obviously, most of the visits are here in Austin, um, you know, but there are a couple in Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, Big Spring, you know, El Paso, one from there. Okay, and then it breaks down all of the different cities that the visits come from. So uh, one of the most powerful tools available if you are a webmaster uh, or even as an aspiring webmaster. I mean, I don't have any technical background, and I figured a lot of this stuff out on my own, you know, just, just through reading instructions and, and just experience. So it's not difficult. So you may be wondering, well, okay, how do I um, add this to my site? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Once you get your account, okay, you're going to go down here to add website profile. This is so easy. It takes like three steps, okay? And uh, let's see. I don't have a, let's, let's say my site's going to be www.myawesomewebsiteforyou.com. Uh, that's obviously not a uh, website that I have, but anyway, you get the idea. Finish. Okay, now you're going to take you to this page. It says tracking code. Now, this is your unique web property ID. Okay, and so that's going to that's going to say uh, that's going to tell Google when you put it on your site that um, this is this is who's sending me information. So you're going to take this code right here, and you're just going to copy it. You can right click and copy or you can you know control C or whatever and then you're gonna go back to your website uh, if you watched my composer video you saw you saw my little generic website here I put up in five minutes uh, it's it's not that awesome but uh, you, you get the idea so we're gonna go to the source code okay don't let this intimidate you it's really not that difficult um, to understand once you spend a little time with it but you actually don't need to know anything about source code. All you need to know is how to find the body tag. Okay? The body tag. So you find that body tag. And then you're going to click right here before the body tag. <clears throat> so the body uh, tells you everything that's in the page that you're going to see. So don't you want to put this outside of the page. So you want to put it in the code, but you don't want to see it on the page. So you're going to put it in front of the body tag, and then you're just going to right-click. Oop, that's not what I want to do. Make sure you don't select the whole thing. You're going to right-click and paste. Bam. Okay, so we've just pasted that Google Analytics code into our site, and then when we go back, see you don't see it. Okay, now if this site were published on the web, we could go back here and click finish. Okay, and then it's that site is now in my directory, my awesome website for you.com. Okay, and it's telling me obviously no visits yet. Um, but <clears throat> you know, if that were a real site and we started getting visits, then all of those things you saw for my Austin rental home site would uh, start filling up and uh, you could start using that to your advantage. So I, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you are an aspiring webmaster and you have always wanted to design your own site, don't like the uh, templates that you're being provided, I do highly recommend Composer. I uh, have created a video uh, series that will walk you through how to create a good, uh, very good site step by step. <clears throat> and uh, actually my site, joshthomas80.com, was created entirely from Composer, no templates or anything. Uh, and I, I seriously don't have technical knowledge at all. So thanks for visiting, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.